morning guys I just want to show you this morning a quick plugin that I use for color grading my images it's a plugin called infinity color panel and it works like this so I'll go to Windows extension infinity color and you can see here it has popped up now you got a couple of buttons on it the create button will automatically start color grading your image for you as soon as you press it below which you've got light medium and intense depending on the image that you're using you can your color grading will be a medium effect or more intense effect and you've got various buttons below it you can turn on and off the curves you can color balance it select each individual color add a gradient map or a color lockup to it so you simply i've chosen light for this because the image itself is in a in a bar in a pub here in my town um it's kind of dark in there so I, I don't want to add a medium effect to it or an intense effect to it because it will just darken it down i'll show you here if i select intense and i press create boom it kind of you know it crushes that image really quickly uh, i can't do much with that so where you would use the intense effect would be as if the image was shot outside and it's highlights are blown out and you want to crush it down but if you use the light effect for settings like this like in um, reception areas and hotels or uh, dark images shot at night or you know where, there, where there's not a lot of light to work with in the image well then the light option in this infinity color panel is perfect for that anyway so what you simply do is you press create and as soon as I press it keep looking at the image you see that it's already color graded in a split second just just like that if I press it again I get a different effect press it again and you simply keep pressing it until you get the desired effect it's really really quickly and it'll save you a massive amount of time as you color grade the images as you go along so if I click it again so what I'm looking for in this type of image is uh, I want the colors to ma match up the tones to be gentle on the eye I don't want my subjects to be darker than they already are I don't want uh, I want the color skin to remain okay so what I'm simply doing is I'm clicking create until I find an image until I find that the creative color panel has chosen a color grading that suits this type of image and as I go along I like this I like this one this one is pretty good let's see no this one is a lot better yeah this is pretty good if you look at the groom's skin here and the bride's skin the complexion is nice and brown hair he's got a little bit of red to him zoom in on him if I just click color balance click it again zoom back out that looks good that looks really good yeah so what I'm simply going to do now is press Control shift alt E and what that does is any adjustment I've made using infinity color it adds it to the layer above what I've already done you can see it up here it's called layer one now it's all the everything that I've used using infinity color before it ever so slightly color grading your images but it's doing it so quickly and when you have like 50 100 images to edit in a wedding the, the whole process is you you need to speed it up you need to get faster and better at it and if there's plugins out there that can do that for you then why wouldn't you use them 
they're so quick they're so easy and this is the best one i found i'll leave a link below in the description to where you can purchase this if you'd like to purchase this and another cool trick that i use instead of using dodge and burn is curves mode blending i'll show you that real quick let's say i want to add a little bit to the highlight that green effect here and the pool table i'll simply create a curves adjustment layer by clicking the curves button here and i'll change the blend mode to screen now you can see straight away turn that on turn that off it's brightened up the whole image but i don't want the whole image to be brightened so what i'll simply do is i'll click the white box on this layer and i'll press ctrl i on a mac that's command i and it changes that layer to black so now i choose a white brush soft brush keep my opacity low for this i'll keep it in about 20 23 25 and i'll keep my flow rate at about 70. i'll zoom in to where i want to add the highlight and i'll click my brush and i'll start painting the highlighted area of the pool table and what you're doing is you're adding a lot more dynamic and texture to the image you're bringing out the highlights we can adjust the shadows and it's just a quicker way of using it than adding dodge or burn dodge or burn you're working directly on the image where using this method you're working on an adjustment layer and by using a white brush if you don't like it or if you've added too much you can simply change it to a black brush and wipe it back off so let's bring up the grain in this pool table just a little bit and it's little final touches like this on your image that makes it look amazing so if i turn this on and off again look at the white grain that we just affected you see quick and easy now you can you can add it uh, if you want to add the shadow area of that you simply create another curves adjustment layer change the blending mode to multiply and you can see the whole image has gone dark now it doesn't look well if you press ctrl i it brings the image back to where you are it inverts the blending mode and again you simply choose a white brush keep your opacity low and you can paint in the shadow area we turn that on and off you can see where it's added that this is just a quick and easy method to using color grading and using dodge and burn without actually using dodge and burn um, it'll speed up your workflow it's absolutely insane quickly to use infinity color panel um, it'll bring the direction of your image to where you want it to be but it will do it a hundred times faster you know so i hope you enjoyed that just a quick and easy tutorial today how to color grade your image using a plugin that you can buy online it's definitely the best one out there that i've used um, it's the quickest it's the easiest it's not complicated to use and i think you'll enjoy it anyway guys i'll leave a description in the in the i'll leave a link in the description below and i hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one subscribe if you if you feel like this is something you'd like to learn and i'll talk to you in the next video okay bye for now